This video deals with the mechanical aspects of the scale squirrel helicopter. First the nose section. I needed to make a special basket as it were to hold it so that when I put it down I wouldn't damage the mirror or antenna so it fits neatly in there. Inside we can see the instrument panel and up the top there's a fan which blows air into the cabin and draws it out from the front vent hole and a little bit up there above that transparent ducting. The machine as a whole is based on an Align 550 mechanics stretched to 600 with a longer boom and has 600 blades. It's a slant tooth, 13 tooth pinion, 112 tooth main gear. The motor is a 300 kV X Nova. I had to cut extra space in the frame to fit in such a large motor. It's significantly bigger than um, the frame is designed to take, but it does manage to stay in there alright. The FBL system is a Skookum 7 720 mounted on a metal plate plus gel sticking out on a front bracket as you can see. The framework is quite cluttered in here, is attached to the base of the fuselage by angle brackets of aluminium. So there's a horizontal angle bracket running along the floor and a second angle bracket which is bolted to the carbon fibre carbon fiber frame and a bolt holds those two brackets together where the horizontal bracket goes through the floor there is a rubber grommet to buffer the vibration somewhat and there's a similar arrangement for the rear attachment point horizontal aluminium bracket screwed to the floor through a grommet and a vertical bracket attached to the frame the power supply for the electronics is a 3S 1100 milliamp hour battery. It's quite small by most people's standards, but I normally do a single charge for one day's flying, and that battery consumes only a small part of its charge in the time that the main batteries consume their charge, and so I'd have to discharge it at the end of a day. So that size seems to work quite well. It also drives the um, electrical um, lighting system. I mentioned in the other video that the strobe light was driven by a microprocessor. That's the board for that there. So there's 12 volts DC coming in. There's a voltage regulator down to 5 volts. That's a pickaxe microprocessor. And the part with the white and yellow wires coming out of it is the um, constant current source. So a, a um, logic level signal comes out of the microprocessor and turns on a half amp pulse from that other unit. That's the Skookum, um, what do you call them, the power bus. And down below there, if you can see it, is a Western Robotics I'm going to get the lighting a little better and push the wires out of the way. There's the Western Robotics bit. So the lamp's very bright there. So I think that's a super midi bec. So that's being powered from the 3S pack. And then the motors run from two 6S in series. Hang on, here we go. Two 6S packs. In series they are 3000 milliamp hours each 
So it's a 12S system. There's a castle edge high voltage ESC in the system. And I've installed a little fan above that. Um, before I may put that bigger fan in the cabin area because early on I felt it was getting quite warm so there's a air being blowing straight down onto the onto the, the ESC there. The front satellite is simply attached on this piece of velcro and core flute so that I can get it up into the cabin zone. The head is one of the so-called Starflex heads it's the one made by CNC helicopters and I did quite a lot of grinding on the blade holder arms to get them constant thickness and weight so that's all been painted up there's bellows there from Marvelcraft or JustScale.com and these rather chunky arms uh, they come with that head. The blades are not installed, but the blades are spin blades, 600 millimeter, and they're a shade narrow for full scale effect. They're 35 millimeters width. They should be nearer to 40 to get the correct scale width. But the next size up is even bigger than that, and so I'm, these blades seem to fly it quite well. The tail area, again, that's the standard Align 550 or 600 hub, and those are carbon fiber blades. I think they might be from Compass. I'm not quite sure the manufacturer of the blades are. I wanted to make the blades as large as possible for having suitable tail control because we're running at quite slow revs. And as I said in the other video, um, there needs to be a hole on this side for the other side of the tail box and that vaguely mimics there is a little black circle on this side of a squirrel helicopter tail that's actually an aperture for checking the oil level but that's that part there and the other thing i didn't show in the other video in terms of the externals is in the exhaust pipe in the full-size squirrel i didn't realize until somebody told me that the weird shape of that exhaust is because the exit shaft from the turbine comes out and through the exhaust and so I've made a little dummy transmission item there I'll illuminate it a little bit to mimic the transmission section that actually lives underneath the exhaust pipe on the AS350 the other feature I didn't mention before is there's the anti-rotation bracket. I got the alloy version and there's a couple of rubber, rubber buffers which came with the kit. So actually centering the mechanics and the fuselage is entirely supported by the anti-rotation bracket. I haven't put any other um, side struts connecting the mechanics to the side of the frame. When it was flown before in this version but with before it was painted the vibrations were very low so it does seem to be a satisfactory attachment system.